Hi, my name is Ryan, and we're here at the uh, Sony Computer Entertainment booth at E3 2004. And uh, behind me is our uh, new PSP, the PlayStation Portable. It's our entry into the portable gaming market. Essentially, it's focused on entertainment on the core, focused on games, music, movies, and more, all in one device. So here we are in the uh, PlayStation Portable booth that we've set up here at E3. And what this is demonstrating is the different entertainment options you have from movies, music, games, and more. You'll see, um, you know, from a marketing perspective, again, how the UMD discs, how they'll look, you know, compared to, you know, our general PlayStation discs. There's a sketch to your right just showing you uh, sort of the architecture layout, all the different um, the buttons mean, what function they serve. And then, uh, you know, sample packaging for the PSP. Again, and, and, you know, everybody's waiting to say, you know, when will we have actual playable? Ken Kutaragi uh, pointed out, you know, hardware at E3, software at TGS. So right now we're giving you some teaser, and, um, you know, I'd look, more, look for more information come this September in Tokyo. This is just all um, just tease. Nothing, nothing has been announced. So this could all change, too. And, you know, the PSP uh, doubles up as a music player as well. So right now, this is just showing a movie. He's not interacting with it, but at least you can get an idea of, you know, seeing his hands and the, um, the compare, comparing it to the size of the PSP for viewers that don't get to see it in person. Look at the screen, even though it's that small, you know, the screen is so clear. And, and there you have it for the PlayStation Portable. Entertainment on the go, coming soon. Here at Sony at E3, this is an exciting time of the year for us. It sets the tone for the year to come for all our fans and the show attendees. This year we're really focusing on the new dimensions of the PlayStation business. We have online gaming that's continuing to prosper. There's nearly 3 million users now. 70% of the first party titles here have online capabilities, which I'll go into more detail about. We have PlayStation Portable, which I just highlighted. I'm really excited about that. And then we're also extending the life cycle of PlayStation 2. So don't worry about next generation. There's still a lot more life in the PlayStation 2. From we've got killer apps, Killzone, God of War, GT4, the online titles, a lot of innovation. So we have iToy technology, which we have here in the booth. A lot of capabilities with the PS2. We'll be shipping actually 14 million units this year alone, which we're proud to say is uh, the equivalent of GameCube and Xbox is sold in the US total. So. Now we're in our features area and we're uh, looking at God of War, again, which comes out early next year. This is, uh, what you're looking at is uh, this vicious warrior named Kratos. And when you think about this game, think of uh, Gladiator meets Clash of the Titans. So you're just taking that brutal combat from Gladiator, but then also mixing it in with Greek mythology, various Greek mythological elements from like Clash of the Titans. So we got Medusa. The story takes place actually in ancient you know, times. So here we are, uh, still in the features area, Kill Zone. A lot of people have, may have heard about this, you may have read about it already. This is due out this November, and it's actually our first first-person shooter that we've published, Sony ourselves, and we're really excited about it. It's going to feature online gameplay, up to 12 players. It's uh, essentially a sci-fi, militaristic first-person shooter set in the near future. There's uh, four characters you can take the role of. It's squad-based first-person shooter. So we don't want to look at, you compare it to SOCOM, it's a lot different in the fact that you're not commanding your opponents. Essentially, you have this group called the Hellgas, which are trying to take over this planet set in the near future. And you're part of the ISA, which is the human force. One of four characters here to stop them from taking over and colonizing the planet. This will use the yeah, USB headset as well, so you can communicate you know, with your friends anywhere in North America while you're playing. So, and we're demonstrating the online mode here. So uh, still in the features area here, the getaway, Black Monday, coming back off the popular uh, PlayStation 2 greatest hit. This is launching this holiday season. This is taking gamers through the ultimate London-based underground gangland thriller and giving them the opportunity to influence uh, various outcomes of the story. Now, not just playing one character, you actually have four playable characters, which gives you four different outcomes. So, uh, still in the features area here, and we're uh, looking at Gran Turismo 4, which is the most uh, highly anticipated titles for PlayStation 2, due out this November. 
And Gran Turismo 4 features more than 500 cars. It's really a celebration of automotive culture, of having vintage cars, cars from yesterday to today to tomorrow. So there's going to be up to 100 courses, online gameplay up to six players. We've actually unveiled a few more courses to get you a, a more of a sneak peek at the final product. So we have, a, for those of you that are racing fans, we have Nurburgring now. We have the Island of Capri, Fuji Speedway, Hong Kong. And every, again, remember, all the courses that are based on these real life locations are all highly detailed to bring you the same experience as if you were driving the real deal being that Gran Turismo 4's ultimate goal is to provide you with the ultimate driving simulator. All right, here's, uh, we're outside the booth here in the general area, and we're looking at MLB 2005 by 989 Sports. This launched uh, back in March, and uh, features, you know, licensed Major League Baseball game, featuring all the real teams, all the real stadiums. Um, there's eye toy functionality that can actually put you into the game to becoming a true big leaguer. We also have a you know, new online mode using 989sportsonline.com and a super deep franchise mode. So here to my left we have Hot Shots Golf 4, which is uh, returning back for PlayStation 2 fans. It's based on the popular Hot Shots Golf franchise. Hot Shots Golf 4, F-O-R-E, provides the same you know hit golf gameplay coupled with the comical approach from our wacky characters. We have over 30 golfers and caddies, online gameplay, more courses, uh, mini golf returns back from Hot Shots 1 and 2. And this comes out this August. So here you have Siphon Filter, the Omega Strain, just launched last month, based on the uh, expanding on the top selling PlayStation franchise and our continued commitment to deliver great online and offline play with new environments. Playable characters online, co-op gameplay, weapons, storyline, and more. And this is building on a, a proprietary combat action that is innovative, intuitive, and extremely responsive. So you can also play as a female character as well, more playable characters, using the same uh, control elements from Mark of Cree, but uh, providing a whole new type of uh, gameplay feel. So we're looking at Siren, uh, which launched April 20th. And this is a survival horror game. Actually, it comes from the uh, creator of the original Silent Hill. So taking that genre to uh, a new dimension. And essentially, you take the role of 10 playable characters, each drawn to this uh, fictional Japanese village, where every 30 years, legend has it that a siren rings and turns the uh, civilians into Shibito, which is Japanese for living dead. Go ahead. All right, so here's uh, Athens 2004, which is due out this summer. And you know, for those people that are getting ready for the Olympics, we're providing it into your living room here with a variety of uh, sports. Uh, there's more than 25 different events from track, floor exercises, rings, swimming, skeet shooting, archery, and more. We also have the dance mat compa you know, compatibility, which you just saw that he was doing for, it uh, looks like the long jump. NHL Faceoff 2005. This is uh, for 989 Sports. It comes out this fall based on the NHL League. All the real teams, all the real players, all the real stadiums. Extensive list of gameplay modes from tournament, online, rivalry. Gamers can actually play against one of eight world hockey powerhouses, including Canada and Russia. It really overall delivers the true look and feel of uh, hockey as we know it and see on TV. So here we're looking at the iToy area. You know, this is again tying back to the, the life cycle of PlayStation 2 really has a lot more years to go. We've got a lot of innovation and this is demonstrated by some of the titles that we're showing here. Anti-Grav is one on the right there. You see with the guy with the hands, the gloves on his hands. This will be a due out this fall. This is really the next step in evolution of iToy using physical and interactive gameplay. It's the first 3D character based iToy game that uses color recognition technology to track body movement using uh, you know your body and brain to hoverboard over diverse terrain. So we have Jack 3. This is uh, again developed by Naughty Dog based on the popular Jack and Daxter franchise throughout this holiday. Third installment of the popular award-winning franchise. This will conclude some of lingering mysteries, loose ends from the past in iterations. You know Jack 3 overall is all about evolution. Jack's character evolves, so does his universe, much larger, with doom buggies as you can see here. 
to explore around in. It continues to push the genre with new innovation. There's a new rendering engine, streaming music, as well as the Ray Golf physics, which we're familiar with in other titles. Again, this is due out this holiday season. I'm Ryan Schneider, Director of Marketing Communications at Insomniac Games. And uh, we're here to talk about Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal, which is uh, PlayStation 2's first online action platform game. It's something we're really excited about. It's our third uh, installment in the Ratchet and Clank franchise. Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal will come out this November. So here we have uh, ATV Off-Road Fury 3. Now, this is an ATV Off-Road Fury. has done really well with PlayStation 2 fans. And we're excited to bring this this November. Uh, there's more ATVs, more environments, and uh, we basically, you know, really looked at the past two and taken the best elements, which you know, of course is the popular free roaming gameplay, but really added a whole new layer, particularly with the online mode. It's really robust, um, up to six players now. Before gameplay only was five players, so we have six players now competing, both in off and online. And uh, everything that's in the offline mode is in the online mode for ATV3. Last but not least, we have Sly 2, Band of Thieves. This is due out this September from Sucker Punch, based on the uh, popular Sly Cooper title from PlayStation 2. And this is an all-new comic crime caper, action-adventure, in the second installment, as I just pointed out, for the Sly Cooper animated series. Episodic storyline is suspenseful, challenging, and provides improvisational, fun gameplay. It's a team-based adventure, and uh, it's going to be appealing to gamers of all ages. All right, thanks for joining us here at the Sony booth. Now take a look at some other games that you'll see coming up.